so hello friends now in this particular video we are going to discuss about the mtp act in detail okay in previous video we have discussed about the abortion so in this particular video we are going to discuss about the mtp act in detail clear so this act is known as medical termination of pregnancy act okay and it was uh, uh, originally framed in 1971 and it comes into force on 1st april 1972 okay so this is historical part that not need to be remembered but it is amended in 2002 that is very important okay it was amended in 2002 to provide for the termination of certain pregnancy by the registered medical practitioners for protection and preservation of the lives of women so this point was included in the amendment 2002 clear now the first is what is the indication for mtp okay what are the indication for mtp so the first indication is your therapeutic indication okay in order to prevent injury to the physical health of the pregnant woman clear so for the therapeutic purposes we can uh, use uh, we can um, order for the mtp it includes cardiac disease okay cardiac uh, disease of the female which is of uh, third and fourth grade then chronic glomerulonephritis is there then your Uh, malignant hypertension of the mother epilepsy okay then your uh, breast carcinoma will be diabetes will be retinopathy will be toxemia and pregnancy will be so these are the indications for the therapeutic purposes the second indication of the mtp is eugenic okay the risk of the child being born with serious physical or mental abnormalities okay so eugenic indications are when mother, mother is exposed to your teratogenic drugs okay, okay. then in uh, the chances of the abnormal development of the fetus will be there if uh, certain viruses such as germs such as rubella virus or chicken pox or viral hepatitis or other viral infection if contacted within the first trimester okay if there is a structural abnormality or chromosomal abnormality like down syndrome or any other genetic abnormality of the fetus is present or parents of inheritable mental condition okay inheritable mental conditions or chromosomal abnormality okay yeah. so this is the second indication that is eugenic now the third indication is socio economic socio economic clear yeah. so in this uh, there are two point that is unplanned pregnancy with low socio economic status first and the second one is your pregnancy as a result of failure of contraception so this is very important point okay as a result of failure of contraception you can go for the mtp clear the last is your on humanitarian background okay and that is a pregnancy is caused by rape clear so you can remember like this sct is okay clear s for your socio economic e for your eugenic then therapeutic then humanitarian clear now uh, now coming to the mtp act rules okay what are the rules in the mtp act so the first that is in emergency cases so in emergency cases all registered medical practices now okay pregnancy can be terminated by any rmp even without acquired experience at any place irrespective of duration of pregnancy if there is emergency cases any rmp can do the mtp without any whether it is experience or not or what is the duration of pregnancy that that, that that does not mean there okay in emergency cases second case if up to 12 weeks pregnancy up to 12 weeks okay pregnancy can be terminated on the opinion of single doctor okay on the opinion of single doctor but if between 12 to 20 weeks then pregnancy cannot be terminated on the opinion of single doctor it have it should involve two doctors basically clear okay now in emergency cases i have told any rmp can uh, do the uh, mtp but suppose if uh, between 12 to 20 weeks then that uh, doctor okay uh, sorry first uh, discuss about up to 12 week okay so for up to 12 week the doctor should have the experience of assisting an rmp in conducting 25 cases of mtp out of which at least 5 should be performed by that okay so for up to 12 week the requirements are that uh, he or she must attend 25 mtp and out of that 5 mtp he or she has done now between 12 to 20 weeks the uh, rmp uh, have either pg in option gynae or 6 month of house surgeonship in option gynae or 1 year or more in practice of option gynae 
so these three condition either of these three condition if satisfied then he or she can go for the mtp okay in 12 to 20 weeks of pregnancy and for 12 week only 25 rand rand is there and out of which five she or he has independently done clear so this is the basic rule now coming to the next rule that is consent so consent of woman is mandatory except when she is minor that is less than 18 years in this case you have to take the consent from the guardian or if it is minor or if mentally abnormal then you have to take consent from its parents clear now the next point place where mtp can be done so first is if uh, hospital which is established by the government okay so government hospital or a place approved by government or district level committee with the chief medical officer or health district health officer as the chairperson of that committee clear so these are the places where you can perform mtp now what will be the punishment if it is contravention of the rules by the doctor so 2 to 7 years of vigorous imprisonment is there clear now coming to the last part that is uh, methods of inducing abortion under mtp act so first trimester up to 12 week okay up to 12 week okay so medical or surgical so in medical you can use mifepristone okay mifepristone you can use mifepristone and mizopristol okay mifepristone and mizopristol you can use methotrexate and mizopristol you can use tamoxifen and mizopristol clear so you can use mifepristone mifepristone and mizopristol methotrexate and mizopristol tamoxifen and mizopristol and uh, when going for the surgical then you can use manual vacuum aspiration you can use dilatation and evacuation method or suction evacuation method clear so this is up to 12 week these methods are used up to 12 week now uh, coming for the second trimester that is up to 12, up to 12, 20 weeks okay so the first method is dilation and evacuation the second is your intrauterine installation of hyper osmotic solution okay installation of hyper osmotic solution such as your hypertonic urea or prostaglandin then use of prostaglandin then use of oxytocin infusion then your hysterectomy yep yeah. so these are the methods which when used when it is up to 12 weeks okay so this is all about your mtp and this, this is very important okay so thank you for watching and if you like the video please 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 subscribe our channel thank you